Once again, it is a semi-annual opportunity for business owners looking to give their businesses a big boost. We're talking about the popular Queen City Pop-Up. It's a program that started a few years ago that offers free rent space in a downtown Buffalo storefront. It all sounds great, but the spring edition this year had to be canceled because of a lack of participants. So with the holiday season just around the corner, 7 Eyewitness News reporter James Groh takes a look tonight at what organizers are doing now to encourage more people to apply. There's no easy way to start a business. It's expensive and labor intensive. But the Queen City pop-up is trying to make that a little easier. The Queen City pop-up was a great opportunity for us to actually have a brick and mortar retail space. The project is run by the Buffalo Urban Development Corporation. It offers a storefront at the Market Arcade in the Theater District and covers rent, Wi-Fi, and utilities. He owns the Atinga Project to USA. He was part of the pop-up in 2016. We were able to just, you know, also experience what it's like to have to run a retail uh, space. Since 2014, there's been a Queen City pop-up twice a year. Once in the spring, once in the winter. But last spring, there was no pop-up. That's because the Buffalo Urban Development Corporation said that the businesses that applied just couldn't meet the requirements that they were looking for. Issues with um, being able to participate in both initiatives because they um, were also participating in other summer markets. And Brandy Merriweather is the vice president of the Urban Development Corporation. Another reason the pop-up was canceled, businesses weren't able to meet the six-day work week time requirement. So to avoid canceling the event again, they're going to adjust the timing of the pop-up and work with vendors regarding the time commitment. Moving forward, um, we'll definitely be looking at making some adjustments. For information on how to apply to be a part of the pop-up, up, you can go to our WKBW website for all the details. In Buffalo, James Grow, 7 Eyewitness News.